just as voters across this country begin to acknowledge it could be Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton this November, one candidate with what's being called a Hail Mary tonight, what Ted Cruz has done, just as Donald Trump stands by what he said about Hillary Clinton that, quote, women don't like her. Hillary Clinton signaling bring it on after getting much closer to clinching the nomination overnight. And this evening, rare words from Amal Clooney after all this talk about women this election. ABC's Tom Yamas on the campaign trail again tonight. Tonight, Donald Trump laying out a fierce vision for America's role in the world. I will never send our finest into battle unless necessary, and I mean absolutely necessary, and will only do so if we have a plan for victory with the capital V. In a rare move, Trump's team even setting up a teleprompter. But today, it's not Trump's worldview shaking up the race. It's his view of Hillary Clinton. Well, I think the only card she has is the woman's card. She's got nothing else going. And frankly, if Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. Standing behind Trump, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and his wife Mary Pat. Look at her reaction as Trump attacks Clinton. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. And the beautiful thing is women don't like her, okay? And look how well I did with women tonight, okay. Critics so swiftly blasting Trump's comments you, as sexist. On GMA, the GOP frontrunner defending himself. It's thank not sexist, wow. it's true. It's just a very, very true statement. If she were a man, she'd get 5%. Hillary Clinton quickly turning the tables. Mr. Trump accused me of playing the, quote, woman card. Well, if fighting for women's health care and paid family leave and equal pay is playing the woman card, then deal me in. But Trump saying Clinton needs to turn down the volume. Well, I haven't quite recovered. It's early in the morning from her shouting that message. And I know a lot of people would say you can't say that about a woman. Polls show 69% of female voters have an unfavorable opinion of Trump. Clinton supporters like Amal Clooney predicting his comments on women will be his downfall. If at the end of all of this, uh, he uh, gets beaten by the person who becomes the first female president of the United States, then I think that would send a, a very positive message. From and Tom Yamas with us live from Washington tonight. And Tom, we heard Trump say if Clinton was a man, she would have 5% of the vote. Tonight, he's standing by it, and it would seem Clinton's team is signaling, go ahead and say it. David, the Democrats are convinced those comments will come back to haunt Trump. And right now, Hillary Clinton is fundraising off Trump's comments, calling the rhetoric dangerous, unpredictable, and that he's creating a volatile atmosphere in the race for president.